Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at this girl right here. This is the Supreme Kai of Time. Um, I think that she's actually pretty good, um, after her EZA. Um, maybe she's not like a, you know, a god slayer, but, um, I do think she could have some, at least, decent value. Um, you know, depending upon what type of stage you're jumping into or whatever. Um, let's take a look at some of the stuff that she does. So... Her super attack effect, she's massively raising attack and defense for one turn, and she's also sealing enemy super attack. So what she's doing right there is she's giving herself 100% attack and defense, which certainly could be pretty good. Um, she gives herself 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. She gives all allies three key, 40% attack and defense, and then a 12% chance to crit, which is certainly pretty solid. I mean, three key 40% attack and defense baseline is really good. And it's just all allies, which means she can be quite impressive on, you know, her category teams, right? The support is going to hit all these characters. And she doesn't have, you know, some bullshit restriction for the crossover category or Dragon Ball Heroes or anything like that. Like, we could just go ahead and toss Supreme Kai of Time on any of her category teams. And she'll be able to work effectively, right? Uh, one of my big gripes with a lot of these Dragon Ball Hero characters is how they need other Dragon Ball Hero characters to succeed, which is stupid. It, it just is really terrible, I think. Um, then she has a 70% chance for an additional 12% attack to all allies and also a 70% chance for an additional 12% defense to all allies. So Supreme Kai of Time here, you could get good luck I mean, you're, well, the odds are in your favor, right? But she could be giving three key and 52% attack and defense and a 12% chance to crit to all allies. Like, that's strong. Um, and then finally, she recovers 12% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. Um, I, the problem is that, I, like, I, I do feel like the Dragon Ball Super team especially is going to be a team that just gets one-shotted left and right, right? Like, yeah, the health is cool, but... Uh, healing really helps when you have characters who can tank. Um, and I, uh, the Dragon Ball Hero team, it's kind of like, oh, like, you know, we dodged the super attack. Or, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan got hit with the super. Other than that, it's probably GG a lot of the times. What categories is she on? She's on Dragon Ball Heroes, Realm of Gods, Patara, Time Traveler, Crossover, and Defenders of Justice. So, there's a lot of uh, teams there, I think, where the Supreme Kai of Time can make use out of her support. Something like the Patara team does not get buffed very often, so that's going to be good. Um, and then her Link set, she has Master of Magic, Solid Support, More Than Meets the Eye, Cold Judgment, Telekinesis, Godly Power, and Shattering the Limit. Um, not great, I would say, there. Um, okay, so she's at 240k right here. Um, I mean, she super attacks and gets 100%. So, she's going to be at about 480k defense right here after she supers. Um, so, I, I would feel very comfortable using the Supreme Kai of Time against, say... Oh, what links do we have active right here? Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Shouting Limit. I would feel very comfortable using the Supreme Kai of Time uh, against, like, Red Zone Metal Cooler, probably Red Zone Broly as well. I mean, the AoE would destroy her, but, I mean, that's, you know, it's... Uh, that's one of the main reasons a uh, Broly is such a threat is because of his AoE, right? Um, but, like, you know, once you get to the final phase, she can be rather effective. Um, I think both Golden Cooler and Supreme Kai of Time, both of these characters right here, uh, they, they're strong. Like, it, it really does seem to me, like, with all these heroes characters, the EZA characters are the ones who I think can really put in work, uh, oftentimes. Um, cause a lot of, maybe it's just cause, you know, these older heroes characters didn't have these stupid restrictions, but a lot of these characters, again, don't have these bullshit restrictions on them, which I, I, I think can actually help out quite a bit. I guess Golden Cooler does have a, a hero's restriction to him, but Supreme Kai of Time doesn't, right? Um, I, I think that she should work out to be a, a pretty decent character, um, potentially able to help out quite a bit. Um, when you look at her like placement on some of these teams like Patara and Defender of Justice and stuff like that, I could see her having a lot of value 
um, on those category teams moving forward. I know, just me personally, I'm definitely going to end up using Supreme Kai of Time an awful lot. I know it. I know I'm going to be using her an awful lot, um, you know, throughout showcases and stuff like that. Oh, this is kind of a bummer. We... <laughs> We can get all seven links activated, but uh, Vegeta doesn't have a lot of health here. So she's at, what, 248? Okay. So again, she she would double that on, on Super Attack. Um, so what happens when she doesn't have Cold Judgment up? Drops down. Yeah, dude. <sighs> Boy, she really does want Cold Judgment. I mean, look, Cold Judgment is giving her like an extra 100k defense at the end of the turn here after she supers. That is pretty big, right? Cold Judgment makes quite the difference, it looks like, right there. Jeez. So, yeah, Cold Judgment is going to be huge, I think, for this character. Um, I mean, thinking about it, though, go again, going into, like, Red Zone Broly and stuff like that, like, God Trunks, I think, is capable of going up against, like, Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Middle Cooler, right? So, like, it, the point with the Heroes team is they did give us enough options, um, to sort of, you know, go into these fights and then, you know, go full type advantage for, for pretty much the most part. I, I, you know, I guess it's just some of these red zone fights, like, you know, they do have good type coverage is the thing. Like going up against Omega, um, Omega, you know, has got the very nasty STR phase, right? Which he, you know, he can sort of use to block a lot of your powerful physical characters you would want to bring, um, against that Omega fight. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see once I actually jump in um, and test out against a lot of these um, <clears throat> bigger fights with this Dragon Ball Hero team. Um, I, there are numerous characters, though, where it's like, damn, I, I, I do, especially the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s, I feel like they, they, like, they just threw in, like, a backdoor, like, bullshit to, like, kill some of the fun of these characters, because it's like, I, again, I, I'm just thinking specifically of, of, like, these guys, like, Goku and Vegeta. That, like, this Goku needing full power in Dragon Ball Heroes to basically get what makes him, like, really good is very unfortunate. I, damn, a lot of those conditions are a bummer. All right. Uh, another strong turn for Supreme Kai of Time right here. Let's go ahead and see what she gets on this turn. Um, just get a couple of rotations for her again. I'll probably have uh, a lot of footage of the Supreme Kai of Time coming up um, over, you know, the next couple of weeks and stuff like that. I, I feel like I'm going to go through... I'm probably going to do the challenge, the, the no item red zone, like, sweeping challenge. I think I probably will do that with all three 200% teams, the Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Vegeta, and Hearts. I feel like Vegeta is going to be the trickiest one because Vegeta, to me does not feel like a, a great character to go into a lot of those red zone fights, right? It's going to be tough, I think. Especially fighting, like, Super 17. How in the hell is Vegeta going to fight Super 17? That's going to be uh, very bad, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just... And I, I also do get nervous because it's like, man, 8th anniversary. Man, that is right, it is right there. 8th anniversary, man. Kind of scary, you know? When all of a sudden, it's like, all right, if you don't have 800k defense, you're not tanking normal attacks, you know? If stuff like that happens. That is going to be very, very bad. Um, but we'll see, right, how things are going to pan out, right? I mean, I guess we never know, right? And perhaps, you know, the anniversary characters could be really good for some of these heroes' characters, right? Uh, I, I mean, this Super Saiyan 4 Goku needs full power characters, so hopefully full power can continue to... Um, get a lot of options. Full power has always been kind of a, a goofy category, though. Um, that's always been one where it's like I, I've been looking for that them to continue to get um, a lot of new options because I, I feel like they do really need it very often, right? Um, Golden Cooler, by the way, definitely definitely a solid character because um, he gets he does all those supers and he starts to get that damage reduction at the end. I do like Golden Cooler. I think he's pretty solid. Okay, um, so we'll probably make this the last turn right here. Uh, I'm just going to use a ghost sure. I, I just want to get one more attack in. Th this is a good turn because this is no support right here. So she's only at 185k defense right there. I mean, that's a bit low. That that's where it's like, yeah, like uh, her 
type advantage in the, some of these red zone fights. That's that's what we would want to do, right? Um, just make sure to sort of have her um, with type advantage in some of these fights. I don't like bringing her against like Omega or something like that would be a huge mistake. But I, I do think her against some of the tougher EGL red zone fights, um, Supreme Kai of Time, she she might be able to put in some some work. Um, the healing and then the big support could certainly help out a, a lot. Um, and then at, at the very least, if she's got type advantage, I think she will be able to hang in there against a lot of the hits from the, the bigger EGL red zone bosses. I think the Supreme Kai of Time is fine. Um, maybe they could have given her, I don't know, a little bit of extra defense, just a little bit. But I feel like she does seem fairly capable to me. So let me know what you guys think of Easy uh, Supreme Kai of Time. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.